Hey everybody, it's Angie and welcome to Hot and Flashy. I'm so excited to bring you today's video. It has been a long time in coming. We are going to talk about my experience getting all therapy for my neck, jaw, and chin. A little sagging going on under there. So for those of you who have been waiting for this, thanks for your patience. I got this procedure done back in April. You know how I love doing these anti-aging procedures or testing anti-aging gadgets and giving you the results because that's what we are all about here on Hot and Flashy. My channel is specifically for women in their hot flash years like I am who are curious about different ways to turn back the hands of time. That's what I focus on here if you are interested in those things and sharing information with people who are in your age group then you're in the right place and I hope that you will subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell so that you will get notified when I post a video. So today we're here to talk about all therapy. It's considered one of these like no downtime, lunchtime, non-invasive procedures that you can go and get it done. No one will know that you had it and then the results appear gradually over time. All therapy uses high intensity focused ultrasound to heat the deeper layers of the skin where collagen is formed that then causes your body to produce more collagen and so it's FDA cleared for lifting and firming the skin of the lower face, the jaw, the chin, and the neck as well as the brow. It's also FDA cleared for improving fine lines and wrinkles on the chest. So um, some of you who've written in so kindly to me and who knew I had had all therapy it was like, I don't understand why you had it. You have no wrinkles. You have no sagging. But au contraire, Pierre, yes, I really do have sagging on my jawline, um, you know, at my, underneath my chin. You know, it's not major, but it is there. You guys don't see it that often because, of course, you know, my little YouTube secret is that I shoot myself from a flattering angle. I mean, can you blame me? But when I am looking at my devices like my phone or my iPad, <laughs> my camera comes on and I see what's reflected back at me from under there, I am like, ah, <laughs> fairly um, horrified and scared at the amount of wrinkled skin, sagging skin. I actually saw Kathy Lee Gifford get it done on, I think it was the Today Show, and her results were amazing. And that was really the one that I saw that made me really think that this was going to be great and want to do it. And so I was talking about it in a video that I put out last January and you know one of the nice parts about being a YouTuber is that you never know who's out there listening. And so uh, someone from the PR firm that handles all therapy was and they got in touch with me and they asked me if I would be interested in having the treatment done and that they would pay for it. So I said well you know I kind of am but I said basically you know what my channel is about is is you know going behind the curtain and showing the truth of what at least this did for me this time and they were like absolutely fine we don't you know have any talking points for you we would just like to cover the cost you go have it done and then you do your thing for your viewers so I was like all right that's cool um, so we went ahead and did it but I was able to pick the doctor's office that I wanted to go and have it done at I ended up just having one area done so basically the way that they do it is they kind of divide your face up into areas and charge you accordingly so the one area that I had done would normally be $900 if I had paid for it. If I had wanted to get an additional area, it would have been 2200 So if I wanted to add on like this part of my face or the lower part of my neck, then it would have been 2200 Not additional, but total. Um, and then if I want to do the whole thing, I think it runs around 4500 Of course, these are the prices in my area here in Massachusetts. Where you live, it may be different, maybe more, maybe less. Depends on where you go. Anyway, once I agreed to do it, it was a pretty quick process. I went and had it done in April. I went to Dr. Joseph Russo's office on Route 9 in Chestnut Hill. I actually went that same day to have filler put in my hands, which was a part of the deal. And if you're interested in my hand filler video, I'll put the link to that right there. But the reason I bring it up is because because I had the hand filler done that day, I couldn't take any ibuprofen, which normally they recommend that you take 400 milligrams of ibuprofen before you go and get the um, all therapy treatment done. And then you take another 400 when you get there and that is supposed to deaden some of the pain because this is a painful procedure, okay? Let me just tell you that right up front. 
I found it very painful, possibly because I didn't have the painkillers, but I did take my camera along with me. They did let me film in there. Um, the person that administered my treatment was Sloan, so you'll see um, not much of her, I think mainly her neck and chest. Sorry, Sloan, that I looked down your shirt <laughs> with my camera during this. So let me bring in that vlogging footage now and you can see what the procedure was like. All right, guys, I'm here with Sloan. We're about to do my all therapy, so I heard it hurts a little. So I am mapping out the various grids that we're going to be working in. We create these channels so that you get consistent treatment on each side of the face. Mm -hmm. um, and then the formula comes from there. 30 pulses here, 20 pulses there. Really sort of working with the symmetry and the angles of most people's faces. Mm -hmm. And then of course customizing as we see you might need. And this just keeps me in line. Make sure I don't go over any no-fly zones mm -hmm. um, and cause any damage to you. So. And then in terms of the discomfort, we'll do a couple of pulses, mm -hmm. 10 pulses, and I find that by then you start out thinking this is totally doable. By the 10th <laughs> pulse, it builds on you. Yep. Uh, so I'll do the 10 pulses and we'll just keep moving so it distracts your sensory perception a little bit. Okay, so I'm setting up to scan. You can see the jawbone clearly, we want to avoid that. And then coming right on down, and that looks beautiful. Great visual, great contact. First pulse in three, two, and one. How did that feel to you? Not like very much. Okay. And just moving ever so slightly again. Two more. Okay, that's not bad. It's, you know what? Not as bad as I thought it was going to be. <laughs> I suppose it's going to build up towards the end, right? Yep. Ooh, you can feel it much more over there. Mm -hmm. Okay, we'll give that side a break and oh, yeah, the other really, direction. I can really feel those <laughs> last two. The first few pulses feel like nothing, and then the middle bunch feel like, you know, a little bit of something, and then the last few, oh my gosh. Um, like, it's not like they kill you, but it's the weirdest deep feeling, and then poof, you're done, and so now it doesn't hurt at all, so. That's the beauty of it. When, yeah. the, when the pass is done, the pain yeah. is gone. <laughs> yes, mm -hmm. thank goodness. This really does hurt, oh my gosh. By the time she was doing the final passes with the first transducer head, I couldn't take it. I felt like I was gonna jump out of my skin. Um, now that it's over though, it doesn't hurt at all, my <laughs> neck. I think it's, you know, you can see there's a lot of redness there. I think I'm gonna ice it. This is where it really hurt the most, right in there. Like this guy was okay, but these guys, when she was doing like the last um, 10 or 15 passes when she had 25 more to go there. I was like, oh my god, I can't take it. You know, I thought, okay, well, let's finish up the 25. That was only a third of the treatment. So she uses, they use three transducer heads, and this one was the deepest one. And they say that that's the worst part of it. But the last 10 minutes was like an absolute torture. <laughs> And so she said, I'm going to offer you the option of just coming back in a week or so and finishing it up. And she said, the nerves are just so, you know, inflamed right now. So I'm, I'm going to reschedule this for next week to finish it up and uh, we'll go from there. In the half hour that it took me to drive home, the redness had completely dissipated and gone away and it hadn't started to swell yet. I did ice it on the way home and so it looked fine. So I think as far as them saying that this is something that you could get done on your lunch hour and then go back to work, you definitely could. I don't think anyone would know that you had had anything done. I came back to the camera at like 6.30, which is when you would be leaving work anyway. And then it was a little bit swollen, but probably nothing anyone would notice and it did feel a little bit tender like to the touch. The next morning the swelling was mainly resolved and gone, the tenderness was gone and my neck looked fairly normal. And it looked fine for the next five days because I actually left for Miami later that day to visit my daughter. I was gone for three days and 
you couldn't tell anything had gone on my on my neck. My daughter knew that I had had the treatment done that week and she was like, mom, I can already see a difference in your neck. It looks so much better already. But then when I got back home on day six of post-treatment, that was when the bruising started to show up. So I did have some bruising from it. It must have taken the six days for those deep bruises to make their way to the surface. And it was a little bit tender that, that day and the next day. After that, I looked perfectly normal and so I went in for the second session that one was much more of a piece of cake because it's using the two less deep transducers and it doesn't need 60 pulses for each I think there were only like 25 30 pulses for each so it was a much better treatment I did take the 800 milligrams of ibuprofen I also stopped on the way and picked up some lidocaine gel and I put that on the surface of my skin just so it wouldn't get so irritated to kind of keep that a little bit cooler it it did still hurt I mean you have to kind of yell yoga breathe through probably the last four or five pulses each time but it was much much more manageable I was only let's say mildly to moderately uncomfortable it wasn't like killing me like it was last time after the second treatment I really didn't have any redness any swelling any bruising at all so that one definitely lunch hour kind of thing you could do that go back to your life no one would know and I think that's kind of the thing that people like about the idea of this treatment is that you have it done and then the results are gradual over time and then it's supposed to take between two and four months to see the full results you know I I took before pictures here at home, I took after pictures here at home, I took video, which I guess it's time to look at that, right? Let me give you my disclaimer first though. I'm not doing this in a lab setting, I'm not doing it in a, in a clinical setting at a doctor's office. This is me in my home um, trying to get the best before and after pictures I can. I keep the lighting exactly the same, I keep the camera the same setup, same angle. I try to match the angle of my head, how much my neck is, you know, up or down. But the pictures being four months apart, you know, it's hard to match it exactly all those micro movements and everything but I try and the pictures are unretouched of course um, you know I don't Photoshop them I don't do anything to them to try to convince you that this is the greatest thing since sliced bread because that's not what I'm here for I'm here so that we can take a look at it see if it works then you can be the judge if you want to plunk down your money if you want to go through the pain if you think it was worth it for the results so looking at the first set of pictures which is from the front I think that there is definitely a difference in the first firmness of my jawline in general. I think that's where I probably see the most result is right along the edge of my jawline. I think that definitely looks firmer. Looking at like my neck wrinkles, like they're still there. I was really disappointed to see them still there. I wanted them to be gone. I was thinking for this amount of pain and this amount of money, I really wanted those wrinkles to be gone and there they are still staring at me. Looking at the next set of pictures which is kind of a three-quarters side view, I can definitely see that lifting and firming along the jawline and directly underneath. There is still a little bit of you know sagging skin right there and right there but it's not as pronounced as it was in the before picture and I think the overall skin and wrinkles of my neck are improved. The skin of my neck is smoother, it's less crepey, the wrinkles that are there are fewer and they look to be a little bit less deep, but they're still there, you know? So looking at the next picture from the other side, pretty much the same thing overall. I do see a lifting and a firming along the jawline. Is my jaw perfectly straight with no sagging now? No, it's not. I still do see that there's a little bit of sagging, um, but it's definitely improved the skin underneath my jaw. Um, that little flap that hangs down <laughs> um, is definitely improved a little bit and the wrinkles across my neck and the quality of the skin is improved there. I also shot some before and after video so we can take a look at that so you can see my neck when it's moving.
All right, so what do you guys think? I'm always really interested in what you guys think about it, but what I think about it is that there is definitely a difference that you can see. My jawline is a little bit improved. The sagging skin under my chin is a little bit improved, but I wish that I wasn't saying those words little bit in front of improved because what I really want is a lot, a lot of improvement. I want Kathy Lee Gifford's results and I didn't get those. When I went back to take the after pictures at the office, what she did say is probably if I had had this part of my face done as well, that then this all would have come out better because I would have had all that new collagen forming up here and it would have firmed and like lifted from here. So I would have gotten a better jawline lift. You know, I don't know, I can't say because I didn't have it done, but it, you know, we did talk about me coming back and having it done and seeing if that did help with that. So, I mean, I'm kind of on the fence. I'm like, hmm, should I go back and have that part done? Maybe if it's gonna help with that. And we'll see if I do, of course, there will be a video on that as well. And we'll see if it does give me better results. So thank you, all therapy people. Thank you, Dr. Russo's office. That's it for today's video, everybody. Um, I hope you found it helpful and informative. If you did, give the video a thumbs up and so thank you so much for watching you know I always appreciate your time and so have a great day and I will see you in the next video take care everybody bye bye